Okay, quick update on this little Murray tractor. I have got the engine bolted in. It was only being held in by one bolt and one bolt was in there backwards. I'm not really faulting the kid I got this from. He was probably his first tractor. He's only like 12, so I'm not faulting him on it. The engine runs really good, which I'll show in a second. And I got a really good deal on this. So no fault to him. I'm not blaming him for anything. Doesn't appear to have any damage. All the bolts did tighten up fine. So nothing stripped out. I will be taking off the pulley next. So I was told the transmission is no good. Also, it's missing the uh, steering. But I'll fire it up for you so you can hear that it runs. Before when it would run, when you went to shut it off, it would bang. Um, since it only had one bolt and basically a stud in there holding it. So no noise when it shuts off. That is a brand new starter as well. So next thing I'm going to do on this is uh, pressure wash. I'm not doing it today. I'm done for today and I will be uh, posting this up for sale. So this video will probably come out after it's sold, like always. Also, I'll probably replace this cover right here. There's a little bit of red paint there. I should have another one in the shed. Um, or I'll take some uh, carb, carb cleaner and try and wipe that off. Just make it look a little bit better. So it's a 14.5, which if I was to buy this engine from a lawnmower shop, they'd want a, between $250 and $300 for it. So I'm probably going to try and get right around $200 to $300 for this engine. I will be leaving it in this chassis so prospective buyers can see it running. And what I normally do is I'll show them that it does run. We'll let it warm up a bit and I will pull it out. These engines are so simple to pull out. I also have everything ready to go. I have all the tools on hand and that's pretty much how I do it. The carb float is fine. It's actually holding fuel. I have not put gas in this. It has the gas that it came with still. Um, this will show you something else that uh, you can tell he's a bit of an amateur. He put uh, electrical tape on the fuel line. Also, I've only seen this once before on another channel where, he, where a guy got an engine and someone clearly did not know what they were doing. He started loosening up the sump bolts right here and here. So I don't know if he was trying to figure out how to take the engine out or what he was doing but uh, these two sump bolts here were starting to get loose this bolt here is original and uh, the other three are ones I've added uh, it had this in there just down from like that holding the engine in or not even holding the engine in and this one back here was loose so he uh, definitely tried um, like I said I'm not faulting the kid he is learning not doing this, so it takes a little bit of learning to get it done. Luckily, he did not cause any damage to the engine, which is the main thing. And he'll definitely learn as he goes, which I did at the same age. He probably got this machine for free, and he's trying to make a little bit of money back off of it. And that's the same way I started out as well. So, I'll talk to him later. Please keep it right neck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.